Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here, use um, use integration by parts to obtain the uh, the reduction formula. And once you've got your reduction formula, use it to uh, to evaluate this. And by the way, there's there's a much better and quicker method of evaluating this, which I will show you at the end of the video. But for the time being, just just play along because it, it will give you a, um, a a good understanding of the reduction formula. Okay, so so use integration by parts to um, to produce the reduction formula, and then from the from the uh, reduction formula, use it to integrate this. Okay, so so really the reduction formula is used starting out with this, the n, and then uh, e to the a x, and then use integration by parts here to obtain to obtain the uh, the reduction formula. Okay, and then and then use the reduction formula to evaluate this. So uh, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, use integration by parts to obtain the reduction formula. So set this to be your u, set this here to be your, your v prime. If u equals this, then differentiate it, then u prime equals this. Uh, integrate this, it will then give you this. So now blindly follow this. It's saying get u times v. It's saying get u times v. So that will then give you, uh, that will then give you x to the power of n over a and then e a x and then you've got your minus minus the integral of uh, u prime times v u prime times v so that will then give you uh, n over a uh, hang on let me think n uh, n over a uh, x to the power n minus one and then you've got your e uh, a x here dx here and then, uh, and then you can see that this is a constant. So take it out here. Then this whole thing here will then become, will then become this. Will then become this. Okay. So now, um, now, uh, now let uh, let this be uh, be this. And then notice that this is pretty much exactly the same as this, but just but just one notch down. But just one notch down. Okay, so um, so uh, so if you let this equals this, then your reduction formula will be uh, will be this. Okay, so so w w when when you look at this, if you set this to be to be this, then uh, then this is your f of n, and then uh, this bit here, this bit here will be one notch down the previous term, which will be f of n minus one. So th this here will be your previous term. So it's saying. Um, N, n over a minus, so it's going to be this thing times the previous term. So, uh, so don't forget f of, uh, n of x here, uh, equals this thing here, x to the n. Uh, well, blah, 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 um, blah, 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 from here, that will then give you your, your reduction formula. So this is your reduction formula. Now use it to evaluate what we were trying to do. So from the, from the reduction formula here, so let's let's now try to um, to evaluate this. So so us evaluating this is really us trying to find this. So um, because if you look at this here, it's saying um, um, it, well this four here is really your your n here. Okay. So so because this is to the power of four, we are really trying to evaluate this four here. Okay. So so we are really trying to to evaluate this. So uh, so now. Um, well, using the reduction formula, using the reduction formula, it's saying f4 here equals, equals, well, if, if this here is 4, then this here must be 4, then this here must be 4, and then this here must be 3. So, uh, so using the reduction formula, f of 4 here, f4 here is equal to, to this thing, which is this thing here, take away 4, 4 over a. a, remember, is, uh, is 3, because we, we try, uh, this is our, our a here. This here is a. So, uh, so this is a here, and this, uh, and this here is our previous term. But we still need to work out the previous term. Well, the previous term is us really applying the same process now. So this time, we, we so, so f of 4 equals this thing here. But the thing is, we still need to work this out. 
Well, this thing, applying the, the reduction formula, will then give you this. So once you've got once you've got this thing here, then then you can put it into here. Okay, and then uh, yeah, you you would then put it into here. So so f of three equals this thing here. But the thing is, we still need to know f of two and so on. So so now f of two, us use us using the uh, the reduction formula, f of two, us using the reduction formula here would give us f of two. Will give us f of two, and then uh, and then and then use the same process all the way through. F of zero is uh, is this thing here. So um, so f of zero f of zero is really this. Well, so f of one will give you this. So now um, now we can evaluate. Uh, put it all back into there. So um, so if you look at this, hang on. So so we we need to find out find our first term. So this is our first term here. So uh so our first term is here. So uh so if you integrate this it will then give you uh if you integrate this thing here it will then give you this. Okay so and then this thing here will be this. So this is our first term. So once we've got our first term we can just work backwards. Now if you look at this here, f of two remember we now know f of one so uh so now that we know f of one we can then work out uh, we can work out f of two well f of two here would be this thing so f of two here so f of two here will be will be this thing which is which is this here and then we've got to take away two times uh the previous term which is f of one here so we we need to times two over three all the way through. So we need to times two over three all the way through. That would then give us this, and then uh, and then and then it's blah 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 following on the uh, follow following the pattern it will then give you this. So this here is our final answer. So um, so I, I, a a much quicker way of doing it would be if if you're asked to evaluate this, jump to this table, and then from from this table here, remember it's plus minus plus minus plus and then uh, and then uh, and then it will be this thing uh, which is this thing here and then uh, and so so remember the pattern is this thing this thing this thing this thing and this thing here so so remember it's plus minus plus minus plus um we've done this before so you should you should know this by now so that will then take you to here and then tidy up it will then give you this okay so so when you come to evaluate um, when you come to evaluate this jump to this table it's much more efficient but uh, we're doing this reduction formula route so that um, so that you it's me giving you um, a better understanding of the reduction formula okay so well overall the final answer is uh, is this okay